Good Saturday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. We're looking at some cloudy skies for tonight, so unfortunately, chances for getting anything in in the way of stargazing are going to be a little bit difficult for this evening. But if the sky is clear by just enough, we should be able to see at least a few things going on across parts of the Mid-South. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. For tonight, we have, again, a lot of cloud cover out there. We're looking at a lot of clouds, but not much in the way of rainfall so far for the Mid-South area. That may be coming up later on this week for more details details on that complete forecast. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll have more coming up after the football game and later on tonight on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10, but dry for tonight, just a few clouds. So for this evening, we're going to call viewing conditions fair, not exactly reaching toward poor just yet, but those clouds out there will be interfering with some good stargazing conditions across much of the Mid-South into the evening hours. So right now, not looking at totally good viewing conditions across much of the area, but going to continue to see hopefully a little bit of some viewing out there in the way of some clearing skies so we can see a little bit of activity going on. Main thing to look for for tonight is going to be, again, Venus in the southwestern skies, and also Mars and the Moon are going to be very close together. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Moon is heading toward first quarter, and also, again, the torrid meteors are going to be peaking in the course of the next several days. So over the next several days, again, with the Moon fairly bright, you might see about 5 to 10 meteors per hour, and some of those stragglers could be seen into the overnight hours tonight. So possible you could see a few out there between the clouds, but not by much. Only good satellite viewing for tonight is going to be an iridium flare at about 7.09. That's going to be happening at about uh, into the northeastern skies, and hopefully you have a good view outside because you're going to need a dark sky to see this. It's not going to be quite as bright as the space station or Tiangong 2, but you will be able to see at least a little bit of this, uh, hopefully between the clouds later on. This is an Iridium satellite. It's part of a communications network that is defunct, but the satellites are still in orbit and reflecting sunlight off the solar panels, so you can see a little bit more where it comes to this tonight. Again, it'll fade into view at about 7.09 and fade out just as quickly, so you're going to have to be looking very carefully for this as it gets a little bit closer. Moon and Mars in the southern skies tonight. Again, if you can see them and they'll be getting closer over the next several days as the moon gets a little bit closer toward first quarter, which will be coming up in the next few days. And of course, don't forget the torrid meteor should be visible as we get into the course of the next few days as well. So hopefully a little bit more about these uh, clear skies will help out by just a little bit. But with extra clouds and minor chances of rain in the forecast, might be iffy to see if we can get any viewing in, but at least these will be the best bets for anybody wanting to try at least some amateur stargazing into parts of the Mid-South over the next several days. Thanks to EarthSky.org for the last couple of graphics and information on here. Mr. Bruce McClure from EarthSky.org posting this information uh, out there for us to see. More information about the weather, again, will be coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3, so stick around for the forecast after the football game ends early on, and then another football game coming up at 7 o'clock tonight with NCAA football on tap, so we'll be on late with News Channel 3 at 10 this evening on the late edition, so stay tuned for that. And another check of your forecast, again, coming up bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That's it for this version of our astronomy blog, Sky Blog 3, from the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. And again, with anything involving astronomy, science, to give it a try, and remember to keep looking up.